Hey everybody, welcome to the MelFit Podcast where we talk all things health, fitness, and lifestyle. Thanks for joining me. I am Coach Mel. I'm an online health and fitness expert. Today I have a very special guest, my client and friend, Dusty Mavity. We grew up together in uh, the Silver Valley up the North Fork River. We were both horse girls, farm girls. Dusty still is. So I've been working with Dusty since November 22nd, 2021. And I asked her to come today, first of all, because I think it would be, it's super fun to have guests on. And I think that there's so many people that are starting to listen to the podcast and watch the YouTubes. And I get this a lot where somebody finds someone that they can relate to. So my hopes is uh, if you're listening or watching that something um, resonates with you and you feel that you're you're listening or watching a real person and her journey. So what I like to do, Dusty, thanks, thank, first of all, thanks for coming over. Thanks for having me. She drove like 45 minutes to come over here today. So we were going to do a Zoom call, but... Dusty doesn't like technology, but this no. is better anyway, so I get to see her. So I like to start out with asking you about your backstory, what you were like as a kid, when did you start gaining weight, et cetera, and just kind of take your time and, and give, you know, the listeners and people watching just kind of an idea of where you were back then, what happened in between, and, and then we'll kind of go into where you are now. Well, as a kid... Um As you know, like, I was very, very active, um, very busy up the river. Um, We swam. We swam a lot in the river. My grandparents had a, do you remember their swimming pool? Mm -hmm. We'd swim in the swimming pool as well. Mm -hmm. Um, I kind of grew up on a little quarter horse ranch, so I did a lot of riding horses and gaming horses and... um, as I, I had a trampoline and I, I never sat down until I fell asleep at night. Like I was a busy, busy girl. Um, I was active in every sport possible. I think my mom couldn't wait for me to get my driver's license when I was 14 because she was always running me to practices, always running me to the games. I was up and down the river all the time on bicycles and it was, it was just a crazy life. It was a fun, fun childhood. Um, I played baseball in the summertime, plus ride my horses. And in school, I played volleyball, basketball, and I ran track and field. The minute that the sport started was the minute that I joined. So softball since second grade, basketball since third grade, volleyball since sixth grade, and um, track and field, I think, since seventh grade. And I ran track and field for eight years and got a scholarship to NIC. And I was there for two and a half years and I made it to um, the NJCAA track championships. I did not know that. (laughs) I was an All-American in the high jump. Nice. And I loved, triple jump was my favorite, but I ended up placing in the high jump, so I got to go in both my um, both my events. Still hold the record in the middle school for five foot for eighth grade. Good job. It's been there for well over 30 years now. Oh, nobody's <laughs> broken? No, it's yeah. crazy. I don't know why it hasn't been broken. But that's awesome. Yeah, so I that's kind of my background of, of being younger and being active. And, and you never had a weight problem back then? No, I never had. Never, ever. Like, my dad had a Hay- or a cabin on Hayden Lake, and I would water ski and swim there as well. Like, I just was busy, like, mm-hmm. all the time. Just a string bead. Mm-hmm. Like, my teacher in junior high used to call me Ichabod Crane because mm-hmm. I was so skinny. And um, do you remember Crystal Herrick in high school? Yeah. She called me Airbone all the time because, and Permagrin, because, like, I smiled all the That's time fun. and I was just super we, skinny. We actually just messaged each other the really? other day. Really? That's yeah. funny. Yeah. yeah. That's so, awesome. yeah, I never, even all the way through um, college, I never had, like, a weight problem. But um, I went from riding horses to rodeoing on them. And um, I don't think that I really had a weight problem until I 
actually met my husband and I ended up, we ended up getting pregnant and I had my son and after I had him, I just struggled lo losing again. Like, Did you gain a lot during your pregnancy? During I did. How yeah. much? I was, I, I, when I met my husband, I was 155 pounds and I was 196 when I had him. And I literally got up to, before I got a hold of you, I was up to 226.8. Why do you think you gained that much weight during pregnancy when you've never been overweight? I have no idea. Like, Did you remember like just really feeling hungry and having cravings? No, I, I... 65, 75, 85, that's about 40 pounds? Yeah. And normal is about 20, right? No, they, you can gain up to, you can gain that much, but mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know why my body was, I think... I think stress and frustration, I was holding cortisol, mm -hmm. honestly. But I've actually had people that have gained 80 during pregnancy, yeah. so but a that's lot, not bad. And I didn't um, gain a lot of tummy. Mm -hmm. Like, my, I had strong, I have strong abs, and mm -hmm. I always have. And doing track and field, I did a lot of crunches, mm -hmm. and we did a lot of plyos and stairs. And I, mm -hmm. since I was a jumper, I used my abs a lot because you had to hold your legs up. In, in mid stride you had mm -hmm. to like arch and snap and like you had to have those stomach muscles mm -hmm. and so I did so many crunches a day mm -hmm. and um, bounding drills and I just and riding horses like your core is strong you the stronger your core is um, I really feel is important for being able to stay balanced on your horse mm -hmm. and um, I just I I never gained like a belly belly, like a big belly with him. Like he, I carried him in my back. Mm -hmm. Everything went straight to my back. Mm -hmm. So I never, I measured two inches smaller than I should have been normally packing my son. I just think the after fact of having him, it was just a lot of, um, uh, just everyday life really like. Um, were you working? Were you yeah. stay at home mom? Working? No, I worked. And yep. raising a new yep. baby? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I worked at JCPenney, and then I quit there, and I, my dad had a, he was a chiropractor, and he had a place uptown Kellogg, and I used to take my son to work with me four days a week, and I had a little kid room with toys in it. And, and you were working for your dad? No, I, I, I put it in a little salon. Oh, okay. Next door. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I just take him to work with me. Mm -hmm. And he entertained, like, it was kid-friendly. So, it was kind of mm -hmm. nice because I did a lot of mom's hair. And so, they could bring their kids. That's and awesome. my son would play with their kids. Yeah. I got lots of entertaining stories about taking my kid to the work. Yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. But, yeah. So, I think that just, like, family life caused a lot of stress, heartache, and, um, I held a lot of cortisol mm -hmm. and, um, that's the only thing I can think of. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I really ate that bad. Did but your activity level slow down? Yeah. That has a lot, that to, was do a lot to do with it. Yeah. I mean, like, when you burn calories well, like that, you yeah. can eat whatever you want. Let's just face it. Yeah. Well, and I, I mean, I did get back into writing and, um, I took my son and drug him all over the countryside, and he was riding with me, and when he got big enough, he would do peewees, and I would run and run him through the events and lead him, and uh, I didn't walk him, I ran him. Like, I, I am very competitive, and uh, we were in the saddle club and he was in peewees and it ended up being a competition pretty much between the parents of which parent could run their kid the fastest through the events and my kid did win the buckle that year job, and Mom. it was pretty funny because they spray painted me a golden shoe uh -huh. <laughs> for an award because I was really fast yeah I've always been fast so yeah. it just it's frustrating to gain the weight and not be able to lose it and then so then you try to think of all these different things to do to try to lose the weight I did Plexus Slim twice, like I tried thinking I was eating healthier food and healthy food that you 
think is healthy gets boring. And then um, what else did I try? Oh, I tried cutting back on food. And when I cut back, as I discovered with you, I wasn't eating enough calories, so my body was storing fat. And I just kept gaining and gaining and gaining. I just talked about this last night on my Facebook Live. It's like the things that you think are going right. to work for you, starvation, low carb, yeah. low fat, diet pills, and now shots, like... The, what is the answer? Right. Do you know the answer? The answer is of... What, I'll, I'll tell you what. My answer, one answer to weight loss is knowledge. Oh, yeah. Definitely knowledge. Knowledge is power for sure. So in between the time you had your son and when we met, which was last November 22nd, was your weight just kind of climbing like yeah. are, are we talking five pounds a year or oh, no i just i don't know how do I, you... I never even got on a scale i was just miserable so my do clothes you... go ahead sir yeah my clothes just i just kept having to get bigger clothes so do you feel like you were overweight literally the whole time you raised your son yeah okay because and that's that's so now, relevant because yeah. there's so many moms that are going to be listening and watching this that are sitting in the same spot you are yeah my son right now has never seen me thin. Like, and he wow. stares at me just like wow. almost kind of in disbelief. And wow. I just smile at him and he's just like, he's very proud of me. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, because, I mean, I'm not to where I was when I had him, but I'm extremely content right now. You look great. And I'm thinner than I ever was for when he saw me. And I am closer to my weight from when before I had him, before I was pregnant with my son, to when I gave birth to him. So I'm closer now to um, my before weight mm -hmm. than when I had him. Yeah. And that to me means that's exciting. Yeah, that's awesome. So how old is your son? He is 17. He's 17. So basically you were kind of battling for 17 mm -hmm. years. Um, Actually 18. 18 yeah. years. Did you... Because I count the year I was pregnant. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Yeah. Let's not forget that. No. <laughs> so you reached out to me, which I was so glad because it's so nice to connect right. again because we grew up together. But what, what, where were you at? Were you like just done? Like what was your uh, mindset? What, why did you reach out to me? I... Well, I've been struggling. I've been going through a horrible divorce for over four years now, and that doesn't help in any way, shape, or form. So I've been going to counseling and trying to get stronger, and um, I saw my cousin Dawn on Facebook, and I was miserable in my own skin. Like, I just, I didn't like how I looked. I didn't like how I felt. I had heartburn almost every day. And um, I had no energy. It was, it, I felt literally completely miserable. And um, I just wanted to be healthy again. I wanted to be able to ride my horses. And I wanted to be able to go do outdoor things again that I used to do. Mm -hmm. And, um, I took in saw Dawn on Facebook and I asked her, I saw her before and after pictures and asked her what she was doing and she told me that she, she that she was doing Mel Fit with you. Thank you, Dawn. Dawn Baldwin. Dawn also, we all grew up together. So yeah, we yeah. all did up the North Fork yep. River. And we all played together and we swam in the rivers mm -hmm. and did everything. So mm -hmm. um, when I saw Dawn, I, that's when I reach out to you and uh, I was miserable when when I came and met you I remember like taking like our selfie because you wanted to send it to your sister and I was just mortified oh no take another one no take another one I have three chins like I was so miserable like I hide behind the camera like I would hide behind anything because I was embarrassed how I looked 
And now when I saw her, she got her phone out and we took a selfie. Oh, yeah. And we went yeah. salsa dancing a while yeah. ago and she looked hot. Yeah, and I was next to you in a dress and I felt thin. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> you look good. You'd still look good. Thank so, you. So you reached out to me. We met in person because Dusty lives here. If you're yeah. listening or watching this from somewhere else in the world, I wish I hope to meet you someday. Mm -hmm. But the advantage of being uh, local and from my hometown, and especially my homies from the Silver Valley, they get a little bit of extra special treatment. But so we met and we put a plan in action. And Dusty was going on a trip to Vegas, mm -hmm. and. I think you asked me about, you know, starting and everything, and I said, you know, I would start, go on your trip, I'll give you a vacation mm -hmm. hold, and then start back up again. Mm -hmm. How important was that to your journey? It was important because I was miserable, and um, I met you on November 17th. I started on November 22nd, mm -hmm. the week of Thanksgiving, and... Um, I lost 16 pounds before I went to Vegas and I was so excited because all I could think of is that was 16 pounds I didn't have to pack around in Vegas because I knew I would be doing a lot of walking. Smart. 16 pounds, 16 pounds of body in two fat, weeks. Yes. 16 chicken breasts. Yeah. So then I was in Vegas and I was subconscious about what I was eating and um, the whole time I was there, I ended up losing another one point, I think it was either 1.1 or 1.7 pounds. And no, it was 1.1 pound because when I came back, I was 17.1 pounds down. I was excited because I could get my belt on the third hook. And that was on, it was, it was horrible because I had this belt that I could only get like on the first hole. And then when I was in Vegas, I'm like, look, I can get it on the third hole. Well, now I need to punch more holes in it because it's too big for me. That's awesome. And it's been so fun working with Dusty because her excitement is my excitement because I'm her coach. And it's so fun to get these pictures like, you know, oh, my gosh, I've dug these jeans out of a toter oh. and haven't worn them in every, 18 years. Yeah, and every single one of my like, pairs of jeans, I can get every one of them on now. Yeah. Every one. And hopefully you've given away the bigger sizes. Well, I haven't yet, but I'm going you to. have to. Yes, yeah. I will. I'm not yeah. keeping them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so the one thing that I wanted to touch on too, and this is, if this answers your question, should I start right before a holiday or should I start right yes. before a vacation? The answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Dusty didn't let, I mean, she was so ready. She didn't care if Santa Claus was coming mm -hmm. to town. Like, it was, she made, she, Thanksgiving was her free day. Like, yeah. we have a free day yep. at Malfit. And I said this on my Facebook Live last night, Dusty. There's always going to be mm -hmm. a holiday, a birthday, right. a trip. But Malfit is teaching you how to navigate. And one thing Dusty will tell you is, were you perfect on the plan? No. Were you 100% perfect? No. Melfit is not about perfection, no. right? Mm -mm. And I always tell people, go for good, not perfect. Right. And like Thanksgiving, like I was subconscious about, you know, some of the foods I tried to like incorporate, like the spices and the dressings that you would use. Like I did make deviled eggs and I went ahead and used the mustard, but I used avocado mayo good. in them instead. And um, for the mashed potatoes, I put almond milk in them Good. and the ghee butter and then the spices that you recommend. And they were a hit. Like my, my, um, my family was, I, I had four young kids there, well, teenage kids, and they gobbled it all up, and they thought it was amazing. Awesome. So they had no idea that I swapped out a bunch of stuff mm -hmm. just so that I could eat it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Awesome, awesome. And I did the same thing for Thanksgiving, too. Or, I mean, Christmas. So one thing, I can say this, because Dusty sa said this before, that when she met me, she was a hot mess. Yeah, oh, yeah. And she was referring to a lot of things. I mean, her mindset her physical body and also 
she had no organization Mm -mm. with food and what she didn't know how to cook either which is absolutely what Melfit is all about because I taught Dusty how to cook like you didn't really know how to cook right I I cooked but I cooked not I did cook like I cooked a lot like um because when I went to Oregon um I was a stay-at-home mom when I when we moved to Oregon for four and a half years and I cooked for my husband and my family and all of his friends that came over um big meals but it wasn't always the right stuff like down to like your dressings and like a lot of it was like pastas and stuff Mm -hmm. and and um things that I probably shouldn't be eating and Mm -hmm. I had heartburn like I remember going in Oregon and going to um I was having trouble swallowing like uh I would choke on rice and I would choke on chicken and like I couldn't get things to go down and so I had a lot of um, uh, heartburn and indigestion and like I've the week that I changed all my food I've not I've not bought Tums since in one week yeah the week that gives me the chills did you hear that in one week your heartburn was gone I had no no heartburn anymore that's unbelievable I think a lot of people when they I tell everybody about Melfit because they're like, well, I don't like cooking or I don't like to do this or that. Well, you know, there's times where like if I don't want to cook everything all in one day, Mm -hmm. if I get one meal cooked and put into my containers, I have that meal. And we always have like, if I have time the next day, I might cook another one. Mm -hmm. Like if I don't have enough time to cook everything in one day, I still will find time to get it done. And you always have the food with you no matter what. Mm -hmm. Like, I pull it out. Like, this weekend I went and um, I was the Eastern Washington Junior Rodeo Association's clinician for bulls or poles and barrels. And I packed all my food with me. And I did eat one burger down there. And after within 15 minutes out of eating that burger, I had a headache. And I think it was from the buns. From isn't, having the wheat in the bun. Isn't crazy? Yeah. Ugh, that's awesome. But yeah, no more heartburn. I've not had it since. That's great. And that's even making like your marinaras and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I would have heartburn eating spaghetti. I don't have that anymore. Like, that's I can awesome. I can use the tomato sauces and stuff and mm-hmm. have no heartburn. Yeah, because there's not a lot of additives. Yeah. So, Dusty did my, started out doing my... Melfit 12 week boot camp mm-hmm. and tell everybody um, how much weight you lost on that. I lost 36.9 pounds in 12 weeks. So Dusty is our biggest loser ever. Nobody has taken the title from her if anybody out there is competitive. When I wrote this plan two years ago, Dusty, I like to be like I like to put a hundred percent guarantee on my plans, mm-hmm. and I would a hundred percent guarantee twenty five pounds. Dusty knocked it out of the park. Yeah. So what I love about you is, although you felt like you lost yourself for a while, you still had that competitiveness, mm-hmm. and that really helped you get through. So fast forward to today, there's no ceiling in Melfit. When Dusty lost the 36.9, she still had a goal for herself of 50 pounds. I wanted to be 175 is what I wanted to be. Mm-hmm. And, um, and and what was your starting weight? 226.8. 220. Okay, somebody out there might want to know that. Okay. Yeah, and um, my low mark is 175 today I was 172 mm-hmm. but I, I'm underneath my 175 yep. and anything under 175 now is to me is a bonus so Dusty's lost about 56 pounds mm-hmm. now yeah and the one thing that Dusty can tell anybody listening here is that I mean you have to you have to figure out like what your finances are and then you have to budget and you really have to be okay with spending a little bit of money on health and wellness. And so Dusty went into my monthly maintenance plan. So she still, you know, gets a new weekly menu and she knows I'm always here for support. And our, our check-ins are a little bit more casual now. Mm-hmm. Dusty doesn't have to like 
check in on the app or anything like that and I let you get away with a little bit more she actually sent me pictures of her food if you're listening don't even try it because but I, I let Dusty do it because it was working for yeah. you and she's not really techie and I didn't want to overwhelm her with an, another task so now our check-ins are a little bit more casual and Dusty occasionally will send me a picture of her weight but I know that she's she's good and do you feel like this is money well spent. Oh, yeah. It is. I mean, if you think about $349. Mm-hmm. For, and I think when you bought it, it was 299 Yeah. But, I mean, still, mm-hmm. like, for a 12-week week program, mm-hmm. and you can break it down, because mm-hmm. you break it down, and Into then you're $29.99 a month, like, for your app. Yep. If you seriously think about that's for 12 weeks, that's worth... That's only 12 weeks of your life of that much is what you're mm-hmm. spending. It's not mm-hmm. like you're having to keep paying the 349 mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. to me, your health is totally worth it. And you actually spend less money because you're not going out and eating. Yeah, like, I agree. Yeah, so they say healthy food is expensive. Mm-hmm. Well, not really because by the time I, I write everything down, my your first expense is your your pantry items mm-hmm. and stuff the very first time you go and shop. Mm-hmm. But after that, I write, I have to visualize, so I write it down. I don't have a I don't have a printer, so I can't I can't print out the the recipes that you have. But I write it down and then I go underline it. And if I think maybe I do or don't have it, I might write check by it and I'll check and see if I have it before I go shopping. And I only buy what I don't have and it's actually Good. cheaper than Good. than anything else and the food is amazing Thank you. um this weekend when I went to the junior rodeo I m- my um my niece asked me Cheyenne Hughes asked me Aunt Dusty did you pack your food and I said yes and she saw me in the back of the truck eating my food and she goes can I have a bite mm-hmm. and I pulled out my teriyaki burger wrapped in the lettuce wrap and she's like oh my gosh that is so good and it's aunt dusty her and my other niece dally are coming up to spend some summertime with me and ride horses and she loved it she thought it was so good she came back and asked me for another bite and i'm like this is the only one i have for to eat that's the worst part about it was when someone (laughs) eats your prep food it's like uh what that's my food yeah if i have extras if i make extra they're they're um I'll share them, but if I don't, everybody knows don't eat it because I need it yeah. for, for work. Yeah. I like to be able to grab and go. That makes it easy for me. That's awesome. Grabbing my food and go. I, I've run into Dusty at Winco a couple oh, times, yeah. and she is very serious about her health and wellness mm-hmm. and getting – she comes over the 4th of July past 45 minutes, getting what she needs and getting prepped – And the one thing that I'll tell you, if you aren't working with me and you think that it has to be Sunday to prep your food, Dusty Mm -hmm. preps on Wednesday. Or like she said, maybe it takes her three days, but she gets it going on. So do you fear the weight will come back? No. Isn't that the best feeling ever? Yeah. Do you remember having that panic? Like, I'm sure you probably went up and down over these 18 years, right? Did you, ha- did you have some weight loss here? Yeah, did you yo yo a bit? Yeah, I Trying did. things? Because mm-hmm, I did the Plexus Slim and I lost weight. And I bought like a pair of size 7, 8 pants and I could get them on. And I was excited about it. But those pants were always just a smidgy tight on me. They were never a- actually completely loose. And I can wear all of them now. Like I pulled all of them out of the drawer. And that's, awesome. that's actually what I wear now awesome yeah so when you finished with plexus did you have a fear it will come back would come back i didn't think it would and then all of a sudden boom there it it was i'm like no you know i was so sad because it came back and i mean i ended your program like the 12-week boot camp months ago and i was still losing because i was still on the maintenance plan and every single person that finishes the 12 week that that either does another round or goes into mm-hmm. maintenance still loses and, yeah and i think it surprises them it doesn't surprise me but right so name three things that have really changed for you since changing your lifestyle um 
my internal happiness. That's great. Yeah. Love it. Um, my confidence. Love it. And I actually feel young again. I feel athletic again. Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah. I do not feel my age. <laughs> Good ones. That's great. That gives me the chills. One thing about your, like, when you go, what I really felt helped was knowing how to read labels now. Mm -hmm. Like, reading labels and knowing what we can and can't have, mm -hmm. like, is huge. Like, to me, that helps a lot because, um, like, some of the sauces or, like, the bitchin sauce. It says two tablespoons. Okay, well, I put two tablespoons in, mm -hmm. and then I'll take it with, like, my crackers mm -hmm. or, like, the chicken mm -hmm. and, you know, for the snacks and stuff. And mm -hmm. to me, that's helpful. If you're listening or watching this and you don't think you can have bitchin sauce, because one of the bitchin sauce does have a teeny bit of soy, mm -hmm. I actually allow it. And there are a few things yeah. on on Melfit, although I don't want anybody to have soy, but it's the exception to the rule. We can have Bragg liquid aminos mm -hmm. that is a, a healthy alternative to soy mm -hmm. sauce, and it is made from soy protein, but that is acceptable because that's what we can use. So right. we can have some teriyaki dishes mm -hmm. and things like that. The same with the bitchin sauce. I want you guys to have something similar to like a hummus but we don't allow chickpeas because they're a legume. So the bitchin sauce is made from almonds and one of them does have a little bit of soy, but that is kind of the exception right. to the rule. So I do have, you know, some, a little bit of leniency on things. So what was your weight holding you back from? Like, what was your thought like when you first started? Oh man, when I get to my goal weight and get healthier, like I'm gonna do this. It was actually holding me back from living my life wow. like really what answer. I want to do like wow. I'm a very active person and I couldn't be that anymore wow. like I couldn't I couldn't I could jog two miles now and and I could and I was a track athlete and I couldn't do that I thought I was gonna have a heart attack like mm -hmm. I was miserable I couldn't ride my horses without feeling like um feeling solid on top of them like I felt like I there's a possibility they could get me off and, and don't you think your your horses can sense that oh you're they fit? can yeah like when someone fit gets on them and feel the confidence the com they can feel your confidence mm -hmm. they can yeah. feel your fear mm -hmm. yeah where do you see yourself five years from now uh, uh just living my life happy like doing whatever i want to do like Good. going wherever i want to go I love doing it. whatever I want to do. Okay. What advice would you give someone who hasn't started yet? Everybody thinks, well, I want to start this time or this isn't the right time. Well, the right time is now. Like there's not like there's never going to be a perfect right time. So like your right time is now. And um I would tell people um when I started and I mean, I started through the cookie and pie season <laughs> and mm -hmm. I did it. Mm -hmm. And Dusty, I want to thank you for all your refer referrals. She's referred so many people to me. And Dusty has always been a very free spirit, positive, easy to like, easy to get to know. And she just has a ton of friends. And I don't have to sell Melfit. If Dusty has referred she's even referred people in the grocery store and like you exude such confidence in and your belief in it that I believe in they it. call me and say I met this cowgirl I didn't even get her name in in Pilgrims or Winco <laughs> and that's you so what do you normally ask someone probably that you know a little bit better when you start this conversation and you told me this one time and I thought gosh this is so relevant um when I ask him what, well, what, what does healthy look like to you? Like what, what does healthy look like to you? What does healthy food look like to you? And when I, I get different feedbacks of what they eat for healthy, well, I'm eating cottage cheese and I'm eating yogurt and I'm just like, I'm, that's, I love cottage cheese mm -hmm. and, and I haven't ate cottage cheese and cheese since, mm -hmm. you know, because they're like, well, that's protein. I'm mm -hmm. like, well, we don't do milk product. Like, mm -hmm. we, we have dairy. 
Yeah, no dairy, except for on maybe a free day mm -hmm. if you want to throw mm -hmm. something in. But, mm -hmm. like, um, what does it taste like to you? Because healthy food before to me looked and tasted boring. Mm -hmm. And your food is amazing. Like, oh, I'll you. eat it, and I'll be like, wow, I cook that. And I would, <laughs> I would order this in a restaurant. If they yeah. actually would have it mm -hmm. in a restaurant, I would order it. Yeah. I know. Sometimes, Dusty, I have to tell you, like, my, have you, did you see my video for the Rice Krispie Treats? I started to see it, but we don't have the best internet, so. It's easy. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm going to make Go this. to Pilgrim's and get the brown rice, organic rice puffs in the cereal aisle, almond butter, Himalayan sea salt and vanilla, like, so easy. And I'm, I catch myself eating my own food going, like, are you kidding me? Right. I've maintained my weight for over 20 years and I'm eating a Rice Krispie Treat and I'm eating dessert every mm -hmm. day. And I mean, it's just like somebody pinch me. So right. I think that's for me, it's 2022. Let's just face it. Most of the world does not know how to lose weight and keep no. it off. I have all the answers and the answer always comes back to the same word, education, mm -hmm. knowledge. And Dusty has learned a lot and she's still learning mm -hmm. and she's still, you know, kind of getting to know where her sweet spot is, what she can get away with, what she can't get away with. I'm sure you've had weeks where you're like, uh oh, and now knows how to correct things, mm -hmm. right? And what I love about you too, Dusty, is that we have a free day on Melfit. The free day can be whatever you want it to. Sometimes Dusty will jam over to get groceries and I'll see her and there's no guilt or shame in her telling me, oh my gosh, I just went to Melts grilled cheese place sandwich. Cool. Great. Yeah. Like enjoy it. And she's still losing weight. And like I'll, and I'll pick like probably the the less guilty thing on there. <laughs> the Rubens have like, you know, yeah. they're probably you know, they're made with sourdough yeah. and bread because we can do the sourdough and yeah. I'll usually only get a half. Um but yeah, I try really hard to if I do a on the free day I try to still have two of your meals and then I'll splurge a meal. Like I still try I like really that. hard not I like to, because I've worked so hard during yeah, the week. I don't want to blow the whole week and eat crumble cookies. And yeah. yeah, that'd be great. But I, I tell people that the free day is really a self, uh, like exploration and journey. Not that I won't help you navigate, but what I like about it is that most people figure out real quick that if the whole day is bad is a free for all if you're having you know eggs benedict for breakfast the reuben for lunch pizza for dinner um sugary sodas and cocktails and stuff like then the weigh-in is sunday night and monday and yeah you're just not, and that is so awesome because it's not me mm -hmm. it's you discovering that yeah, you know what? Maybe I should cut it back to a free meal. Yes. And in the beginning, did you feel the need to really go crazy on your free day? No. And I like, never have. really, there yeah. are some people that I think will go into a bit of a panic, but really, once you get into it, it's like I was determined. Like yeah. I didn't want to. I I didn't, didn't want. want to yeah, because I. I'm, I was so determined to lose my weight and feel healthy again and strong again because I'm a strong person and I wanted to feel that again and I felt miserable and I was so miserable in my skin I couldn't stand myself. Did you ever have anything um, on your free day that just wasn't worth the calories that you took a couple bites of and you just thought, eh, I can live without that? Anything you can remember? Um, I went to um, I went to a Christmas party and I took... A box of crumble cookies mm -hmm. and um, I probably, I probably had I I didn't even eat a whole cookie They're like huge I know but I took like just a little tiny crumble literally uh -huh. off of each one so I could taste it uh -huh. but that was it like uh -huh. but no I really I'm I would be very careful and I don't overdo it and you're content with your treats and your stuff yeah so. I love the treats mm -hmm. and I share them with the girls at work I work at 180 Hair Lounge and um, in Pinehurst, and I'll bring in treats. And um, the owner of the shop, which is also one of my really good friends, Jessica Easley, and she, 
I'll like stand there and I'll say, guess what I got? And she's like, what is that? Mm -hmm. And so she, she, I share her with her. I'll give her bites and Angela Rainio, she's another one of my coworkers and friends and I share bites with her and they love my food. Love it. That's awesome. I went to, uh, we did, we had, uh, we went to my friend's shooting range yesterday and then everybody pitched in and I brought dessert Mm -hmm. and I was so busy. Like Monday, Tuesday are my busiest days. I had already made the Rice Krispie Treats, Josh and I did, and then I whipped up a batch, which you know the Melfit soft bake almond flour chocolate oh, yeah. chip cookies are They're so, so easy. And what I did is I gave everyone a small square of Rice Krispie Treats, one cookie, and then my friend had some um, ice cream, and I gave everybody one scoop of ice cream in the middle. If that was a real Rice Krispie Treat, a uh, Toll House cookie or a Kellogg's Rice oh, Krispie yeah. Treats, a Toll House cookie. I mean, that would have probably, it, it's not necessarily the calories, although they'd be high. It would have been the sugar. Yeah. And I told everybody, I go, there's literally, and this is a splurge, probably 300 calories on that right. dessert. And the sugar is like half of what it would have been. And everybody really liked it. And I mean, I get, I have to tell you guys, I do get nervous because. People have such a negative attitude and and w- their idea of what healthy food is like, what everybody thinks. It's mm-hmm. like chicken and broccoli. And I'm like, it's almost like they don't even want to try it. I'll be like, and my friend always... The shrimp fajitas? Oh my gosh, love those. Yeah. But he'll always say, okay, announce what you have. And I'm like, well, this is this, this and this. And I hope that eventually people will be happy knowing that if it has Melfit on it, it's gluten-free, dairy-free, and no processed right. sugar. You can lose weight and get to your goals with it. But Well, like when you put posted that a Costco blueberry muffin is 900 calories, 900 calories and then we made the Melfit blueberry muffins. I think I put raspberries and blueberries mm-hmm. in mine. And... A little cocoa whip on top made it taste like a bread pudding. <laughs> I love cocoa whip. Yeah. Those muffins are good. Yeah, they yeah. were so good, and my mom liked them too. Oh, good. She thought they were really good too. So Dusty's spreading her healthy lifestyle to anyone that will listen, which I love because yes. I'm the same way. Or taste it. Yeah. So I put a before and after picture of Dusty on our um, Facebook or Instagram, and of just her face. And the picture is worth a thousand mm-hmm. words because when Dusty came to my house, like I can tell when people, I can tell what state your mental health is, your, you know, overall health just by your face. Like it's amazing the difference. I've had so many people message me of that picture. And I think someone even commented that you look like you did in high school now so for you to say that you feel young again Mm -hmm. you look young again like being unhealthy and overweight it ages you it really does also switching to an anti-inflammatory meal plan Mm -hmm. your face is so clear it's not red it's not swollen Mm -hmm. like it's just amazing and also the, the biggest thing I noticed with Dusty is, like Crystal Herrick said, what did she call you? Hair bone. And what? Uh, Permasmile. And Permasmile. Like, Permigrant. She called me Permigrant. I have to say that I, I felt that from you when you first came. Like, I knew you were down in the dumpsters. Yeah. And, and my goal as a coach is to give you back your confidence. Mm-hmm. And to see her... At her final weigh-in, where did I see you? Did you come to my house? Mm-hmm. Was it for final weigh-in? Is that yeah. what it was? Okay. And, I mean, there she was, the old Dusty that we mm-hmm. knew, the permagrin, the girl that, you know, wanted to tackle anything. Was and full of life. Ride barrels. And, yeah. and so, although life and marriage and stress broke her and she thought she was broken she thought her hormones were broken yeah. but you know little did she Probably know her metabolism was broken yeah her metabolism mm-hmm. that's hormonal yeah. but yeah and and now she's proved to herself that really she just needed a a, a healthy lifestyle change mm-hmm. and and i think 
if you would have gone to somebody who wasn't as well-rounded as me, I don't know that you would have accomplished as much because I think me being a life coach is important. Oh, I do too. Because you can tell me the good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, yeah. I think you're a great life coach. Like, I'm very thankful for you. Uh, like, you're a really good life coach. Thanks. So I'm, I think I'm, everybody needs a life coach. I think so, too. <laughs> I'm 47 years old. I've never had a life coach. I went yeah. to counseling, but yeah. I'm so glad I got a life coach now. <laughs> yeah. And I think and that... Friend. Yes. Always friends. I think that it shows that you respect yourself, mm -hmm. that you hired a counselor. Mm -hmm. It shows that you respect yourself, that you hired me. And I think that people need to get rid of the, the like, I don't know if they don't think they're worth it, or maybe they think that well, you I get don't, beat down to feel like yeah, you're not worth it. Or, like, I literally was beat down yeah. to that point. But I'm glad that you still had something in you that said, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna save myself. Yes. Like, I'm going to do something about this, you know. And then, and then there's a handful of people that always say, I know what to do. And the best thing I can say is... I did a lot of praying for guidance, too. Oh, and gosh, yeah. So I just really feel like... God puts like people in your life for a reason and and everything happens for a reason and when I saw Don's po picture mm -hmm. that like triggered me to reach out you know like mm -hmm. what was the what are the odds that when you pray for something like that and then that happens you mm -hmm. know I feel like there's mm -hmm. signs all around us. Yeah, I don't believe in coincidences. But I think if people are open to the fact that anybody you meet in your life can add value to your life. Mm -hmm. Like, Dusty's adding value to my life. She's, you know, schooling me about horses. And, I mean, she's so knowledgeable about, I mean, my gosh, she could probably be a vet. I mean, she's got so much to offer. And I've got my talents, and Josh has got his mm -hmm. talents. But knowing that, you shouldn't put the burden on yourself to know it all. No. It, you don't have to be qualified in everything in your life. If you want help with horses, you can ask Dusty. If you want help with fitness, you can ask me. If you want help with anything digital media, you can ask Josh. Like we all have, we all complement each other mm -hmm. well. And I just, I think that's the biggest thing with people is they feel like. And I've heard the spouses say, "Why do you need help? Why do you need a coach? Why do you mm -hmm. need pushed?" And it's like, it doesn't matter. It's if that's what somebody wants, they should get it. But I do. I think it's really good that you. Um, you you valued yourself and your health mm -hmm. enough to reach out. So this is this is going to be an amazing journey. Dusty stuck with me for life. Yep. This is awesome. She's she's a good um, she's a good student. And I will have to say, like your pictures are shocking. Like to see also just to physically see Dusty come to my house and then come twelve weeks later. It was just like I was talking to a different person. Yeah. And I get that a I lot. I feel like a different person. That's awesome. So great. And now, 18, how, how old is your son now? 18? 17. Oh, 17. Yeah. 17, that's right, you count on the pregnancy. 17 years later, he's got his mom back. And the mommy spirit, never knew. Like, he never, yeah. I mean, yeah, I was always there for him. But, like, he never seen me, like, in my glory of, like, my weight loss and stuff. He's never seen me yeah. like this. So. And it was probably harder for you back then, too. I oh, mean, yeah. when you're... I was using a 20-pound weighted vest doing stair walks today, and I could feel it. Like, yeah. everything had to have been a little bit harder for you, so... Him, like, telling me he's proud of me and just, like, staring at me and smiling means, like, the world to me. Yeah. I, I know, ultimately, we all do it for ourselves. Yes. But it really does feel good. And, I mean, I feel like... You should shout it from the rooftops because it's, you're a minority mm -hmm. and there's so many people out there that still haven't figured out how to lose weight. And they can do it. I'm a single mom and mm -hmm. I receive no help mm -hmm. and I can do it. Yeah. You can do it. And you were on a budget. Yep. And you made it work. Yes. 
I love it. Yeah. Your greatest wealth is your health. Yes. When you're older, it's not going to matter. Nothing is going to matter but your health, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, what we do now matters. So do, we're the same age, right? Are you 47. Yeah, we're the same. When's your birthday? New Year's Eve. Oh, oh yeah, that's easy to remember. Mine July 10th. Everyone so. celebrates my birthday. Oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like you come to the realization that you know at our age that when we do get to be older we want to be fit mm -hmm. having skeletal muscle mass is our number one asset yes. to be able to get up from a chair and you hear this all the time if you are out of shape and you don't have any muscle if you fall and break a hip when you're older the chances of right. you recovering are pretty slim right. so and when i stepped on this your scale the first time and you checked my muscle mass like I was over over on that as well mm -hmm. and I was still over it when I came back mm -hmm. so I had extra muscle to lose so mm -hmm. you told me that was good yeah for sure it's for it, our age yeah it's it's your best asset if mm -hmm. you ever want to do an in-body scan contact me if you're local it's your best asset and it's so easy for me to work with people that have skeletal muscle mass because then our goal is to just reduce body fat yeah and that's done through nutrition mm -hmm. and movement and exercise but if you're watching this and you're a uh, a horse horse girl or a guy um, it's really important that you guys prioritize your health mm -hmm. and stay in shape because you don't want your passion to become a chore. No. You don't want to be dragging your butt to the stables and you're huffing and puffing and you're so tired and you can hardly lift your own body up onto your horse. So. Oh, that happened. Yeah, literally. I could not step up on my horse. And now I step right on. Like, did you I, use a did you use a stool? Heck yeah, I did. I was miserable. Like I had a mounting block. I would literally step on the mounting block uh -huh. because you know, my horse would like literally balance herself for me to step on and mm -hmm. that's not good for them either. So mm -hmm. like I would feel guilty and I would use the mounting block to get on. Love it. Anything you'd like to say in closing? Any thought you had? You just have to do it. Like just try it. And like you said, like you're, if they want to try the recipes, you can try how long for your app? Seven for days. Seven days. You get free trial for seven days and pick some of the recipes and just try them. And also people that have little kids, I mean, I've told some of um, families, they're like, well, I can't meal prep because I have, I have these kids. And I'm like, well, what if you pick these meals and actually just make them for your family and then take a container and scoop yourself just a couple meals and one of that is your container for your meal and then you'll have another for another day mm -hmm. but the, your family can eat your meal and then you cook another meal like yeah at least changing a meal or two meals a day yeah. is going to be huge yeah, i agree yeah i always tell people double what you make and then pick like two or three other meals for the week and you're golden right you can mod you I think people make it harder than what it really is. Some make it harder than they what make, it really is. They like, make excuses. That's yeah, why they haven't started. Right. And like, so. you, there's other things out there that are like, uh, that you'll throw on there. Like, I'll go get those Sabatino chicken sausages mm -hmm. and I'll have those um, for a, a quick, quick meal. Like mm -hmm. if I'm, if, if I, if I need, if I don't have time to do something else, I'll eat one of those. Yeah. And that's what um, I liked. Like uh, the last I think two or three weeks on the 12 week boot camp, I tried to give more simple, quick, easy things. Yeah. And if you're not connected on our Facebook group or Instagram or Mouth at Connect, um, please get connected because I always give hot tips on mm -hmm. recipes. The linguine from Costco, oh, Rouse yeah. Marinara, the and the Sabatinos, what lemon were they? Grass, Lemongrass, chicken, chicken meatballs. Mm -hmm. like, you barely have to cook anything. Yeah, you just I'm dump it. Five minutes, so it doesn't get any easier than that. But right. well, thank you, my friend, for taking the time to come in and tell your Welcome. story. It'll be watched um, over and over. And I just love how I think there's a competition between you and Emily of how many referrals you guys have given us, <laughs> huh, Josh? Like, I just what I love about it is 
you guys are both really loved and respected. Mm -hmm. And when you say, I think you told me this a long time ago, it's like if you put your name behind something, people mm -hmm. listen and they respect it. And I always tell Dusty, you know, every time she sends me a referral, don't worry, I've got these people. Yeah. Like you send them to me and, I, and I've got that. So I think it feels good for both of us to know that I'm, I mean, you know, although Dusty is special, I do give everybody really good treatment and right, try to yes. try to get everybody, you know, the same experience whether you live here or not. Right. I got some deep connections, so. And I'm always here too. If they have questions, yeah, I'd be that. glad to ask it or I answer any that. questions that they have too. Yeah. Um, yeah, don't make excuses. Just the time is now like yeah. it is now the time will pass either way and yeah. another thing too is like if you think about it like what would life have been like if you could have figured this out 18 oh years my gosh. ago i tell like i tell you know, the younger people that all the time like if i would have had this knowledge back when i finished my career in track and field and i could have cooked like this because um, it tastes amazing if I would have had the knowledge to do that back then I would never have had 18 years of being overweight I and I wouldn't have been miserable yeah. great story good stuff here it's gonna be hard for me to come up with the title like I have a lot of good things written down here so thank you guys for listening and tuning in and we'll put Dusty's um, are you on Instagram too? Um, or I just think Facebook? So, I think so, okay, but how, I don't know how well, to do it. <laughs> what's your Facebook name? Dusty uh, Mavity? Dusty Mavity. Okay, mm -hmm. so, but we'll put her Facebook um, information in the show notes. And if you guys have any questions, just reach out to her or myself. And can we link her before and after pictures in the show notes too, Josh? Mm -hmm. That would be cool. Yeah, so I like that I don't have like a muffin top anymore. Yes, like, that's so nice. Like, yes. you can slide your jeans on, yeah. and you're not like, I'm not jumping around trying to get yeah. in them and look like a Michelin mm. man bubbling it, out. Isn't it funny <laughs> how you just dealt with the, the body that you were in, and, oh. and you just find yourself like, like, I've told this story before, Dusty. I used to drive with my hands out, and then I would realize I wasn't that big anymore. And I would go like this, and I'd let out a sigh. I'd go, "Is that not right. bizarre?" <laughs> like things like I get it, and also it's it. People have body dysmorphia when they lose weight because sometimes it takes a while for you to realize right. that you're not heavy anymore. And I've told this story before. I used to fold my jeans and put them in my uh, stepdaughter's bedrooms, and they would bring them back, and I would be like those are my jeans like it just didn't click right. or people will still go shop for clothes and they'll still go over to the larger sizes and I've took people shopping before and I'm like I'm pretty sure you're over here and they're like there's no way those are gonna fit me and I'm like just go try them on no, like, like I can my, size anybody and they're like they fit and like I'm like my, yeah my medium milfit sweatshirt that I that you didn't think I was, thought was a large I didn't know it was a medium yeah. I put it on and I'm like, I thought it was a large and then I looked and it was a medium. And just to let you know, those run small. Really? Yes. Oh. Doesn't that make you feel yeah. better? But honestly, it doesn't matter what size you are. It matters what fits you and what right. you feel good in. So anyways, thank you, my friend. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you being here and telling your story. Good one, huh, Josh? Mm -hmm. How long are we? 58 minutes. Oh, good. That'll be good. So if you're listening to this, I hope that you went for a walk. Um, did something active and I hope that Dusty's sto story inspired you and I will tell you unlike I can't say anything but unlike some things that I used to see on TV like weight loss shows I won't specifically say who or what show I feel like with Melfit on these shows they would do a where are they now and you guys know what shows I'm talking about. Most of the time, those people had gained their weight back, yeah. right? Melfit. It's a lifestyle change. Yeah. I, I have my memories come up over the last couple years. 
I reshare those all the time and then I make a note at the top that says still grinding, still cranking, still a client, still on the Malfa army. Like I don't feel nervous and my clients don't feel nervous that it's going to come back. And the, the difference between Melfit and some of the TV shows that we used to watch are what they were doing was not sustainable long term. You know, working out for several hours a day and drastically cutting calories is not sustainable long term. Or when, eating bars every day. Bars and shakes, shakes. Optifast. Like people always ask me, what do I, what do you think about this? I say, do you think you can do that for the rest of your life? Because yeah, I know no. Dusty can melt it for the rest of her mm-hmm. life. If you don't think you can do that for the rest of your life, why waste your time on right. it? You know, then 18 years has passed and you've done every stupid diet under the sun and you have gained and lost the same weight and you're still back in the same spot. Mm -hmm. So I I think that people's fear is like, also I see with people, I think that some people like when they, when they get to a certain spot, they have a fear that they can't go any further. And Melfit's different with the no ceiling. Like, didn't you know at the end of the 12 weeks that you could keep going? Mm -hmm. And you weren't, like, so burnt out on eating crappy food Mm -mm. that you were like, oh, I can't wait to get this done. Well, Mm -mm. most plans are like that. I've been on a lot of diets. We don't call Melfit a diet where I could not wait to get done. And I was freaking starved to death. Miserable. So, awesome. Great combo. I'm going to think of an awesome title for this. Mm And when this, um, this will come out on Friday, right, Josh? I'll, t- I'll show you how to share it really easily okay. with your friends on, <laughs> on Facebook. So it's been awesome having you here. What I think would be fun just to prove to you that my clients, you're not going to see them gain their weight back. We'll do an update like, you know, maybe maybe around your birthday time or something mm-hmm. like that and, and see and keep checking in on Dusty and you can see um, where she is now. So I just, I love everything about this. I love I love hearing uh, your story and, and how everything's changed for you. And I can definitely, I mean, I think that everybody around you feels it. And it's such a positive vibe. Like, it's not negative at all. It's I'm not. I'm so thankful when I started it, too, because oh, I yeah. feel fit for the summer. Oh, yeah. Perfect <laughs> timing. So, yeah. Um, summer bodies are not made in the summer. No. Summer bodies are made in the winter. And I just said yesterday, like, it's four weeks till the 4th of July. Dusty lost 16 pounds in, was it one week? Two. Or two weeks. Mm-hmm. Could, could people make a difference in four weeks by the 4th yeah, of July? Three weeks, I was 17.1 So let down. that inspire you. So stop putting excuses mm-hmm. in the forefront of you starting. <gasps> I can't start. It's the 4th of July. Well, I have this. Well, I have that. Well, how about we just figure out how to navigate mm-hmm. life? Like, I'm social. I did something last night. I'm doing something mm-hmm. tonight. It's all about balance. I got my workouts in. I drank my mm-hmm. water. I walked my dog. I figured out what I was going to have at the meal and whether it was going to be my free day or not. So we can do it. Thanks for joining us, you guys. We will. Thanks for being here, Dusty. Appreciate Thank you, you for Thank, inviting me. Yes. Thank you, Josh. And uh, we will see you guys on the next Melfit podcast. If you like the podcast, subscribe share, and if you feel so inclined, write us a five-star review. We'd be so happy. Have a great day. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.